Hey guys, so now we're back with uh, with part four of this tutorial, and um, what I want to do before we start adding pictures to our our boards is I want to add a a URL to to our our Pinterest business account that we created, and I'm gonna add an affiliate link as my URL on my Pinterest account so I'm gonna select uh, this link that I have from Amazon my affiliate link and if anyone clicks on this link to get to Amazon whatever they purchase I'm gonna get a commission from that so I urge you guys to go and open an Amazon account that you can sell affiliate products on Pinterest you can use to sell affiliate products on Pinterest the the best part about this is that whatever someone buys, once they click your link to get to Amazon, you get a commission. So that's that's really great if you want to make some money with Amazon. Now that I've copied my link from Amazon, I want to set my URL for my profile and I'm going to put it in here. Let me just find it, guys. Okay, for my website, I'm going to add my affiliate link. They're going to request that I confirm my website, but it's not going to go through. Anyway, I'm just going to leave that in there for now, and we're going to add some images until I can get that fixed later on, and I'll show you guys what I did. I'll probably have to go in and create a website uh, with uh, blogspot.com or or wordpress.com and I can confirm my website through that route because I don't want to create a .com website right now because I want to see if this uh, niche has a market before I can go and spend some money and create a campaign, a website and a Facebook page and all of that for this particular keyword. So I'm testing it out with with Pinterest and if I see that it's profitable then I can go ahead and create a website for these this this Pinterest account so to start adding images to your board all you have to do is get up here in the search bar and type in your keywords okay now we've come up with a um, a lot of images for shoes for girls. Now you have this as a sandal. Now if you click on save, you want to save this to your sandals for girls. We're going to add specific uh, shoes or images to specific boards that we have created now baby girls shoes now I should have created a separate board for this which I'm gonna do right now before I even save this I'm gonna create a board and call it baby girls sandals because I want to be specific as much as I can just click on create and later you can you can set your your description and your category for this particular this new board that you've created okay I also have a board for flats for girls and I'm gonna flat shoes flat belly shoes so I don't have a board for so I'm gonna Save this to shoes for girls, or I'm going to create a new board and call it flat shoes for girls. And don't forget to go back in there and set your description and your categories so your boards can get found. Now next, once you've, you've uh, added images from Pinterest to your 
to your boards you can go ahead and add your affiliate links to affiliate products to your boards as well but one thing I want you guys to know is that um, when you're pinning pins on pin on Pinterest if you want your pins to get found or your board to get found quickly you need to find pins that are from a website rich pins they're they are called rich pins now to know the difference between a rich pin and an ordinary pin you'll usually see up here a description of the pin that means that this pin is from a website and up on top of the pin there will be a description and also under the pin I usually try not to save uh, pins that have prices on them they're usually from e-commerce uh, websites so they're not uh, indexed uh, quickly they don't show up in the search quickly unless this person is promoting uh, their pin through Pinterest uh, advertisement so I try not to save pins that have prices on them or from affiliate websites I try to get rich I try to save rich pins to my boards because that way the boards get indexed quickly it's just something that works on Pinterest it happens a lot I've tried it out a lot of times rich pins get found quickly on Pinterest more than they have a higher percentage of getting found on Pinterest search more than ordinary pins that you pin from affiliate sites so try your best whenever you can to pin rich pins onto your boards that way your boards are going to get found in the search engines so I am going to add three to each board I'm going to add 10 pins and when we get back you're going to see that these boards are filled each board is filled with uh, images and then we can go on to start um, adding followers to our boards